Hello and welcome to week two of this month's Coffee and Card. It's April 2023 and I'm Linda from lindaspapercraft.co.uk and we're working with the Around the Bend bundle and today we're going to be using these stamps and these little dies. How cute are they? So the new catalogue is available to demonstrators at the moment and we know that the Around the Bend is continuing to next year. Woo! So we're into the next catalogue. So, but there's some really good offers on at the moment. So if you're watching this before the end of April, it's worth looking at the last chance list because there's quite a few offers there. Uh, and the link to my shop is in the description below. All right, so let's go. So we're doing a little fun fold today. Um, I think it's called a bookbinders fold, this one. Um, my stickiness is not sticking down. I think I accidentally used temporary tape and that's why. But I'll show you a little cheat to get this knot, which I was really impressed with. Um, and it's Christine, somebody who showed this on one of her videos, but it's a really easy way of getting a nice knot on um, the front of one of your cards. So anyway, let's get started. So I've got my little kit. Let's pop those out of the way because I've got everything I need. Right. Let's pop that out. There we go. So make sure you shake out because there's lots of things in this card. This is not one of these two pieces of paper and you've got a card um, routines at all. So you've got a couple of pieces of designer series paper. And then I've given you a white square to go on the inside. I hadn't actually put one on mine. And your card base and envelope are there already scored. And some ribbon as well. Okay, so just pop those out of the way for now. And then we've got lots of little bits of card. So this is your stitched, um, your stylish shapes die cut here. Tiny weeny little bit of the crush curry tiny weeny little bit of your knight of navy and the balmy blue and then this bits to go under here so those bits can go and then a square of white so you can make your daisy and then some milky dots these are retiring they're on offer at the moment and they are gorgeous well worth a look all right so I'm going to get my mini die cutting machine out so that I can get all these pieces cut out. All right. So I've learnt from experience that it's best if I die cut. It's not the way you would normally die cut. Um, I normally die cut from this side, but it's easy for you to see what I'm doing if I die cut from that side. So I've got my sandwich, the embossing plates and a cutting plate. And let's see, how many can we do at once? So we've got the double leaf and a centre. And then I think, so I've used two little sprigs and there are actually, the reason I didn't die cut these ahead is because there are two little sprigs. So you can cut them both out at once. So we'll just feed these through. Okay, if you are struggling with your mini, it could be because the rollers are a bit too tight, which is no bad thing. So instead of using the white cutting platform, use your grey embossing platform. It's very, very, very slightly thinner. So it means that the cutting, it, the plates go through a lot easier and it still cuts beautifully. And it still works to emboss, I've tried it. So... Although I don't have many of the narrow embossing folders, so I tend to emboss using the bigger machine. And then we just need to cut out the daisy. Just put that back on. There we go. So that's all our die cutting done. Once this goes through, so I put my machine away. Then I will have to check if my mat's straight because it's moving around all over the place. And I hate watching videos with crooked mats, so I'm going to make you watch one. There you go. I'll just put it on the shelf next to me. And we'll straighten everything. Oh, it's not too bad. There we go. So that's all my pieces ready to go. 
So we've got our daisy. Just putting the dies to one side for now. And then we've got one. The centre. Two leaves. And two sprigs. So, come on, come on, come on. You know you want to. There we go. Okay, so that's all my die cuts in place. Okay. And what I did with this one was I actually took my scissors to them. And I just cut it down the middle like that. And then a little dot of glue on the edge here. And then I just glued them back together again a bit closer to each other because I found it was a bit too spread out just using, oop, wrong way. So I've just stuck them together again so they're a bit more overlapped so they can fit in between the two balmy blue ones. And while I've got my glue out, we shall glue our centre in as well. See, I'm thinking crushed curry, but you know, I don't think it is. I think it's melon mambo. Not melon mambo. Ah! Goodness me. Mango melody, which is going. It only lasted one colour refresh, the, man the mango melody. So that will be retiring at the end of April to make room. There's a, lot, there's a few colours retiring, making room for a lot of lovely new colours. Right, so let's get my stamp pads out. I can find. Yeah, that's Mango Melody, isn't it? Right. So, let's start with the knight of navy to stamp our little sprig here i'm loving this i actually saw a card which um they'd actually used it in all four corners so it like gave a circle in the middle it was gorgeous so, and i'm stamping this in knight of navy but any neutral will do just pop that down Give the ink a chance to transfer across because it's quite a large stamp. This, there we go. How beautiful is that? It is just stunning. And then, nope, just going to add our sentiment with my mango melody. I've already got it on the block, so just wanted to say thanks. So, just a few little taps. Okay, and I'm just putting that. Of course, I've now realised I didn't use Mango Melody. I used Calypso Coral, but it looks just as nice and will still turn tone with the rest of the card. <clears throat> okay. So, we'll just leave those over there and we'll put the rest of the card together. So... How do I do that knot? Now, what she did was she got one of these, which is a stamping spritzer. And literally, we just take that and up at one end, just literally tie a knot. Okay, there we go. One knot, so I've got a little bit to go over the top and the rest of it's to go down underneath and I just take that off leave that like that while I am making the card so let's put all these pieces together so again I'm going to do it like I did I originally designed it to do that. I was thinking I was going to do that and then I thought it was a bit too much. So I'm going to, again, use the stars on the smaller piece and the plaid on the bigger piece. And just glue these two together. So, 
so we've just had Easter. We had a fabulous weekend in the UK. It was beautiful weather and now it's freezing cold and hasn't stopped raining. So, so much for spring. I suppose April is known for its showers. But it's currently sunny and hailing at the moment as I look out my window. Right, so we'll just glue this on and glue them onto the card. Lots of gluing today. And then this card is scored in the middle as a normal, but then again, so that this piece is ten and a half centimetres, so it's square. So, and I'm just going to glue that on this bit here. Now I'm just going to get my snail out, my stamp, no I'm not, it's already out, there it is, my stamp and seal. Oh, and I'm just going to put a little bit just at the top there and just at the bottom to adhere my ribbon to. Because it's just better than wet glue to be honest when you're sticking tape. Tape, ribbon. Okay, and I'm just going to position that going to position that not where I want it. So I want it fairly near the top. I might come down a little bit. There. And then pulling it so it's reasonably tight. Stick it down in the middle at the bottom. There we go. So that's nice and flat. And then literally I've got a new pair of scissors and find my new scissors and I am just going to cut that in half and there we go little knot how cute is that okay and then trim that piece off and this time I'm going to use wet glue instead of tape I have a, a temporary adhesive for when I'm trying things out and I think I used it on that because it just has not stuck. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to pull that a little bit tighter. And that's all stuck down. So a nice easy way to do your flat knots there. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to position it in the middle on the front. So again, flat using my glue. And then I'm going to add the flower and leaves. So I'll just pop that in the middle and while I've got my glue out, I'm going to do the inside piece. And again, because we've made this area square, this is just a square as well, so you're not having to worry about which way around you're doing it. And then we're just going to finish off with the leaves. So with these, I actually stuck them to the back of the daisy, so I could position them so they were coming from the middle of the daisy. So let's put a little bit of glue and pop that on there. And then another little bit of glue on this one. Let's actually see which way which way we're gonna go. We're gonna go that way. It's a bit long, isn't it? So let's do there. Okay. 
There we go. And I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional. Don't forget to use your bones, your edges of your dimensionals. You get much more value out of them if you use every single piece of it. There we go. So I'm just going to position that on the edge there so it's not interfering with the fold. So I'm going to put it just there so it's just onto the fold. And then I'm going to take the leaves that I've done and I'm just going to glue the back and slide that underneath everything. Okay, so that just goes in just between the other two leaves. I'm just going to press that down and there you go. So the final piece, there they are, I thought I'd look at the milky dots there. So I'm giving you two, a big one and two little ones. They, as I say, they are retiring, so they will be gone soon. Um, but they come in white, petal pink, Knight of Navy and Mango Melody, which is why they're retiring. Um, but you get loads and they're really useful and two different sizes. So put them in the right way so I can see them. There we go. Pokey tool. So, and I'll just put the biggest one under the flower. Just pop it there. The little one is taking your eye to the sentiment. Pop it just there. And then the other one I'll just put near the top of the flower. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a comment if you would. It all helps the algorithm. And if you haven't already subscribed, it would really help if you did so. I'd be really grateful. And if you have any questions or anything, just uh, drop me an email. The address is below. Take care and I shall see you all next week. Bye.